What a small bowl this is. The water can't even fit in it. Hi Amber. I am Daisy. You seem confused. What's the matter? Hi Daisy. I was wondering why is the water coming out from the bowl? You know Amber, every object has a capacity to hold things. Capacity? What's that Daisy? Amber, capacity simply means the amount of liquid an object can hold. For example, the bowl here can hold only a bowl full of water. Therefore, the capacity of the bowl is only a bowl full. Amber, why don't you get a few vessels from your home? Hey Daisy, here we are. Great! Amber, now do one thing. Fill the milk pan, bucket and vase completely with water. Now, take the milk pan and remove cupfuls of water from the milk pan. And count how many times you remove the water from the milk pan. Do the same with the vase and the bucket. Now tell me Amber, how many cups does each of the vessels hold? The milk pan holds 4 cups, the bucket holds 12 cups and the vase holds 3 cups. That means the milk pan has a capacity of 4 cups, the bucket has a capacity of 12 cups and the vase has a capacity of 3 cups. Did you understand the concept of capacity, Amber? Oh yes, I understood it. Very good, Amber. But capacity is not only measured in cups. It is also measured in litres and millilitres. Litre is the standard unit of capacity. One litre of any liquid is the same as 1000 milliliters of liquid. That means litre is the bigger unit of measurement. It is used to measure larger capacities. Milliliter is used to measure smaller capacities. Litre is usually written as L and milliliters is usually written as ML. I hope you understood Amber. Yes, Daisy, I understood everything. Thanks for explaining capacity. Let's quickly go over what Daisy has taught us about capacity. The quantity of liquid a vessel can hold is called its capacity. Capacity is measured in litres and millilitres. The standard unit of capacity is litre. One litre is equal to 1000 millilitres. Larger capacities are measured in litres. Smaller capacities are measured in millilitres.